All yours, Maria. Thank you. A very pleasant good evening and Ramadan Karim to all of you. Welcome and my warmest greetings to all the District 20 uh, Distinguished Toastmasters, uh, District 20 members, all of our official, all of the district official, our division and area directors, DTM Khalid Jalal, DTM uh, Khalid Abdullah, and I think that DT, our District 20 director, she's not here, Alifia. Yes, my warmest greetings to you all. Uh, it's my pleasure to be the Masters of Ceremonies of today's workshop. My name is Mariam Hamid, and I'm the current president of Baghdad Toastmasters Club. Um, of course, we are glad and we're happy to have such leaders in our district arranging such workshops just to make sure that the members of the district are growing and growing up professionally and making sure that everything going on as supposed to be and appropriately. Um, today's workshop is uh, entitled uh, Club Officers Election by our presenter, Mohamed Yaqub. And of course, this workshop will address um, uh, the Office, a club officers election so that all of us can have an awareness how we can handle those roles as a club officers to the next ex community. Before we tackle on with the meeting, uh, there is like, a, I need to state a ground of rules for the meeting. Of course, I would kindly request from you all to disconnect yourself with the outside world by putting your phones on the silent mode, choosing a, a quiet spot just to avoid any disruptions. Um, make sure to mute your microphones. Of course, you can unmute yourself if, you're, if requires or if you've been called upon. Um, I would kindly um, encourage you all to open your videos. Um, I can see we have some of you not opening your videos. However, the meeting is recorded. If you wish uh, to do not open it, it's your choice, but we would love to see your lovely faces. Um, of course, during each workshop, we have a Q&A session at the end of the workshop. Um, if you have any question that might crop up while the presenter is speaking, you can just direct the question to me. However, you have the authority to direct the question to the speaker directly during the Q&A session. Um, just to remind you that I'm here to help you regarding this, I can raise up the question and take care of it at the end of the workshop, or you can direct it to the speaker. Um, as an MC, it's my, it's my duty to recognize our leaders, the District 20 trials. Um, since the director of District 20, she's not available with us, that will give me the, pre the pleasure to address our um, District to Program Quality Director, um, DTM Khalid Abdullah. He's a person for the past eight years was personified for the Toastmasters core values of integrity, respect, service, and excellence. Uh, he has helped bringing up the District 20 on the world stage by managing events such as the Star Dust event in 2017, which brought two world champions of public speakers. To District 20, Darren Tai and Mohammed Al Qahtani, and being a part of the team hosting the world champion Romana Smith and the past international president DTM uh, Billridge uh, in Bahrain. He has been a part of the first ever virtual contest, and since then he has been serving numerous club, division, districts, and contests as the most beloved chef sergeant at arms, a member of the most senior cooperated club in the district, Bab Babco Toastmasters, and the immediate past president of the first advanced Toastmaster in the Middle East, Bahrain Advanced Toastmasters. He has risen as a true servant leader from being an area director, division director, club growth director, and now the program quality director, clumping the ladder of learning. We all know that his purpose in life is to lead his kids by a good example of a father to be followed. So that's why he's in Toastmaster. Please join me to welcome 
the Program Quality Director of District 20, DTM Khalid Abdullah. DTM Khalid Abdullah, the screen is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much, Master of Ceremonies of Master Maria Muhammad for the lovely introduction. I'm really happy to see you here uh, today in a district event leading us our, as our Master of Ceremonies. That's really amazing. Thank you so much, all the way from Iraq. Let me recognize the presence of someone who is sitting, let me just see, show you that, sitting next to me, Club Growth Director, DTM Khalid Jalal, <laughs> and many, many other leaders in here as well, that if I start with one name, I might miss the other. But let me also recognize two champions behind the scene who are really helping me as PQD Training Coordinator, DTM Muna al aqab and DTM Jahangir Khan. Thank you so much for all of the efforts that you're putting behind the scene. Leaders of District 20 and beyond. Good afternoon and blessed Friday to all of you. Yes, physical button cars. <laughs> Myself and Brother Khalid, we just came out from a physical meeting and the meeting took a little bit longer than expected that's why you can see us that we are pointing to each other in our cars but the eagerness of being here and representing of course district 20 in this very very important occasion is what brought us here today and i can see someone is competing with me and i can mute that person yes Club officers elections. Why do we need to have club officers election workshop? It's very important. Now we are in April, and as per the leadership handbook, the first meeting of May is supposed to be the club officers training of club officers election. So that is timely put. That's why we need to have such workshops. First of all, to do some awareness that such process exists. And another is to sometimes demystify some of the known or over the years practice things. I fell in few of them when I was also early in Toastmasters. Even my, when I spoke yesterday with the workshop presenter in a while, we were also going through those little things that some find it or does it this way, others does it another way. So that's why we thought of having a consistent way of approaching the elections, nominations, and then the election process in District 20. So thank you so much for all of the leaders who joined this very, very important session. And it's good that it is recorded. For those who could not join us, we will definitely send that to everyone because we need to have the same passion of serving, the same way of going through the process of passing the baton to the new officers or to the new leaders who would take this journey to the forever, that legacy, so-called District 20. Thank you so much for being here today with us. And back to you, Master of Thank you. Thank you, DTM Khalid Abdullah, for your precise and accurate explanation and addressing for today's workshop. Thank you. Um, another, uh, the next uh, dignitary leader on the list, the club growth director, DTM Khalid, <laughs> DTM Khalid Jalal. Well, District 20 witnessed his contribution, growth retention, and his program qualities when he was a division director in the last term, which not only contributed in district success, but he contributed the highest number of distinguished clubs in region 11 of District 20, making the district community very proud. 10% of the current active clubs in, in District 20, his personal contribution, and he has helped more than 30 member with educational credits towards their DTM qualifications. He also gets the credit of charting the largest Toastmasters Club in District 20 is KPMG Toastmasters Club with membership over 78 members. He introduced around 300 members to Toastmasters after knowing the experience, after experiencing how Toastmaster has helped him in his personal growth and development. His motive in Toastmaster is to 
expand the district and make sure to serve each and every member of the district family to be one of the best leaders he can be to bring more leaders because he believes that Toastmaster is where leaders are made. Please, with a big round of applause, help me to welcome DTM Khalid Jalal. DTM Khalid Jalal, the screen is yours. Thank you very much, our MC Toastmaster Mariam Hamid, all the way from Iraq. And thanks to the technology who brought us all together. And we say virtual meetings or physical meetings, I think everyone has own importance. And that's how we are seeing people from Iraq and someone sitting in India and waving his hand and someone is sitting physically next to me and showing me his camera. So it's a blessing that we are in this era of technology. Let me recognize in the presence of a program quality director who's sitting next to me in the other car and all the dignitaries in this room. I can't see all of them because it's, I'm using my mobile phone. It is the right time when a program quality director has brought this program. I'd like to thank him for his thinking that it's important that club members and know the procedures, the mechanism, the rules and the policies of elections in the club and the areas and even divisions. There is something called the rule book. Now, if you look at the rule book or read it, I'm sure our PQD will share it in the chat once you reach home or distribute it to everyone. I can see he's driving out. So read it and it clearly tells you what are the requirements of the candidate and what are the qualities and competencies of a candidate. So look at those requirements and look at the candidate who's coming forward. It's a responsibility of the person who's coming and taking up the role in the club or in the area, and also responsibility of the club members and area members to select the right candidate for the role. It's not like it has to be in a hierarchical order. It's, there's no rule like that. I have received many calls, uh, people asking me about it. So let me clarify, there's nothing, no rule like that. And I'm sure our speaker will clarify that uh, during his speech. Uh, it's the right candidate who is capable for the role. If you as a club member see that member of your club can lead the club in the positive way, can lead it to the next level, I'm sure you'll also agree with me that person is the right candidate. And same thing with the area, because area director is responsible of taking care of the four clubs. And if each club has 20 members, we're talking about a huge number of responsibility in terms of the members. So I wish everyone all the best. Learn the best today from our speaker, uh, DTM Mahmoud Abdeen. He's a very senior, experienced uh, Toastmaster, or I could say DTM right now, but we still call him Toastmaster. And he brings a lot of knowledge, wealth of knowledge with him. And I wish everyone all the best, learn from the best and implement the best. Thank you very much and back to your answer. Thank you very much, DTM Khalid Jalal. Thank you both of you leaders, DTM Khalid Jalal and Khalid Abdullah. Um, now, without being said, we can tackle on with the juicy part of the workshop um, to introduce our speaker. Um, DTM Mohamed Yaqub, he's the past president of Bahrain and he's the current president of GPIC Toastmasters Club. Today he will share with us his experience and with the gained experience and shared knowledge, we can bring up the best to our clubs. So please help me to welcome to the screen our distinguished Toastmasters and Mohamed Yaqub. Mohamed Yaqub, the screen is yours. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Master of Ceremony, fellow Toastmasters, and uh, our, all our attendees. Good afternoon, and uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Okay, thank you very much. And thank you very much for all the dignitaries, and thank you for all the attendants for attending this uh, interesting, I would say, uh, workshop. Uh, many of you have been a member in the Toastmaster Club for quite a number of uh, years. And of course, you have seen all the uh, process of election taking place uh, in the club level multiple times. Now, the purpose of this workshop is to highlight and uh, give you updates of uh, the correct or the right procedure 
of how to conduct the election in the club and the club level. Uh, before we speak and before we carry on with the workshop, I would like just to highlight uh, if uh, we will conduct the workshop in English language, if it's fine by all the members, or if there is an Arabic speaking language uh, uh, members who would prefer to listen also to the workshop in Arabic, please uh, write on the chat so that I will mix uh, Arabic with English throughout the workshop and it will be satisfactory for uh, all the audience, inshallah. All right. So uh, by the time we receive the feedback on the chat, I would like to introduce myself again. My name is Taswaster Mohammed Abdin, uh, DTM. I've been a member since 2007, and I've witnessed so many, so many elections on multiple levels. One point to highlight that the rules, uh, as I've been going through uh, yesterday uh, to, to prepare the workshop, and I was also in contact with the PQD, uh, DTM Khalid Abdullah. I've noticed that uh, the rules, some on uh, some areas have changed there was some updates and uh, now we have the uh, club uh, leadership uh, handbook it has very uh, useful and resourceful uh, source of information so all the information that i have here i refer to the current uh, um, club leadership handbook and i took the information from there so if you have doubt or you want to cross check or you want to refer for more details, the uh, club leadership handbook is the uh, source for the information that you may go and refer to. All right. Let's carry on with, the, uh, with our workshop. Uh, the content of the workshop, as you can see, will have, uh, can you see my screen? I'm not sure you can see it. I think you can see it. Yeah. Yes, well, you can you see it. You need to run the, have... the slideshow better. Yeah. No, okay. you run it from the slideshow. All right. Okay. So the That's... content of the workshop will be, um, we will go through the club leadership assignments, uh, the, uh, election the election offices, which will be uh, elected. And then we will talk about the Toastmaster term. And then before the roles or the assignments before the election meeting, during the election meeting, and after the election meeting. And then lastly, I have a few question and answer to quiz the knowledge and to, to uh, highlight some uh, uh, of the cases that I've been uh, going through and I had to go to uh, get the correct information from reliable resources. So what are the club leadership rules which are, take, uh, which are assigned by election in the meeting, uh, in the club? So in the club level, we have the following officers. They are elected in an election, which are the president of the club, the vice president education, the vice president membership, vice president public relations, secretary, treasurer, and sergeant at arms. These are the members who are elected in an election meeting, and they are assigned to the office throughout the election. Of course, we know that uh, oh, the executive committee have additional member who's immediate past president. He is, uh, of course, not elected. He is the past president of the club and he's serving as advisor for the committee. So he's not involved in the election process. All right. Okay. So what is the Toastmaster terms? Here, we have two categories. There are some clubs who are entitled to have a term of six months, and there are other clubs who are entitled to have a term of one year. What is the condition that mandate you to be allowed to have six month term or one year term? 
All right, let's refer to the club uh, leadership handbook. And it says clearly that the club constitution of Club Toastmaster uh, International state that, sorry, clubs with weekly meeting, the only clubs would have weekly meeting, they are entitled to have annual or semi-annual uh, election. That means that the term of a weekly club can be one year or six months. Any club which meet less than that, they are mandated to have a one-year term. So only club who are having weekly meeting, they are entitled to have a term of six months. Other type of clubs, they are all mandated to have a one-year uh, term. And the Toastmaster year is also a one-year term. So all other clubs, they are in, 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 uh, in line with the Toastmaster year, except for the uh, weekly club, if they choose so to have six month uh, term. All right. Now, if we go again in the election, when does the election take place? Or what, what date does the election take place? Of course, as we said, we have the six month club and one year uh, club. For the six month club, they have two elections, which is one going in November, as you can see here. This also a screenshot from the uh, club uh, leadership handbook. You will find here club officer election to be held at the first meeting in November. So this is for semi-annual term. This is six month club. So they have an election in November and the other election will be in May. So club officer election, our first meeting in May. So first meeting in November and first meeting in May. These are the dates and the meeting that you have to conduct the election of the club. So as you can see here, it's not approximately, it have to be the first meeting of this month or of this day. So uh, make sure when you uh, plan your term or you put your plan that you comply with these requirements of the uh, Toastmaster International. All right. Uh, and of course, uh, as an encouragement, uh, yesterday I was uh, uh, I received the update from uh, our PQD that he introduced an additional award for the club who conduct their election and uh, conduct, conduct their election on the mentioned date. So there is an additional award which is called Early Bottom Press uh, Award. Uh, which was introduced in the year 2022. So let's all strive to uh, be mentioned and honored to receive this award by uh, PQD. Okay, before the election, before the election, what should happen or what should take place? Two weeks minimum, at least before the election, the club president will appoint the leadership, the club leadership committee. All right, so two weeks before the election, the uh, club president will have to assign a committee of three people, one chairman and another two members. They will go through the club members. They will uh, have discussion with all the club members to get the nominations for the officers who will be running for the election meeting. All right. So they will go and contact all the members who are in good standing. They will get the confirmation from them that they will accept the nomination in case they, uh, they uh, receive the office. And then they will come back and report in the meeting before the election, before the election. They have to come and report back to the uh, president with the list of nomination nomination committee result or report. In case there are other candidates who are interested to run to the office and they are not mentioned in the report of the uh, election committee, they can run on the day of election from the floor. Now, in case 
the committee did not or failed to report uh, to submit the report one meeting before the election, then uh, they do not submit a report and the, the report is invalid. All nominations will be taken from the floor on the day of election. So this is a time frame uh, restricted uh, procedure. So one meeting before the uh, election, they have to submit. If they fail to submit, then the report is invalid and all nomination will be taken from the floor. Good, clear? Okay, maybe something will come in the question and answer later. All right. Uh, yeah, this is the, uh, uh, the statement from the, uh, the uh, club leadership uh, uh, role. So the club officer, uh, the club president will assign the uh, nomination committee. They will go and come back with the nomination and they will give the report one uh, meeting before the election. Okay, uh, the proceeding of the election, the proceeding of the election. In the day of election, there will be an election officer who's different person from the uh, head of nomination committee. He's not uh, the same person. And usually he's the president or he can delegate uh, this uh, task to someone else to run the election. The first assignment during the election will be the accepting of nomination of the office and they start from the president. Then he will ask for second, uh, to, uh, seconding speech for example let's say uh, one person is nominating himself let's say uh, our master of ceremony uh, Maryam she wants to nominate herself as a president of a club let's say uh, a club in, in uh, Baghdad all right so she will submit her nomination and a second speech by a member uh, to be seconded for the nomination given. That means someone else maybe have to uh, give a two minute speech about uh, why Mariam is very uh, competent or entitled to run for the office. Then we will go to uh, ask for another uh, or sorry, to accept the nomination. After Maryam accept the uh, nomination, that uh, your, your nomination will be accepted, the nomination office, uh, the election officer will ask for other candidates if anyone else is interested for the office to run against uh, Maryam. Let's say, uh, again, another uh, nominees come. Uh, so again, he have to accept the uh, nomination and uh, give two second, receive two second speech. And all these uh, nom nominees, let's say three of them, are ready now to run through the election. The election officer will close the door for nomination from the floor and it have to be seconded. Then after it's seconded, all the speakers, all the nominees, they have to give their speech. After they're giving their speeches, the election will take place by voting. After voting, uh, results will be announced and the secretary will cast the ballot for the winner. All right. I know it's not clear, but we have a trial election later on, so it will be more clear later on. Okay. After the club uh, officer, after the election, uh, the uh, uh, secretary will go immediately and submit the uh, list of officers in the Toastmaster International website. And uh, at an, election, an installation ceremony will be following to uh, appoint the new, election, the new elected officers and discharge the previous elected officers. 
that's what I was talking about. Okay. All right. Um, let's have a few questions before we proceed to the quiz. So, uh, Ms. Mariam, Madam Mariam, do we have any question? Can I ask a question for everyone's uh, benefit? Yeah, let's have questions, a little, a few questions before we proceed with the remaining of the workshop because I think it was very uh, intense part so far. Yes, DT and Muhammad, no, no one directed me a question till now. I see Can I ask Farouk a raising his hand, Farouk. Thank you, DT and Muhammad for your presentation. Uh, just a basic question that I have. Uh, is it really strict that if the club president cannot stand again for the election, if there's no other nominee, or can they be elected for the second term? Is it possible? Okay, okay. That's very interesting question, actually. And it's one of the uh, quizzes that we have there. But it's good that you, you, uh, you put the question very quickly. See, the bylaws and the constitution of the club clearly mention that uh, all officers, they are entitled of uh, running for the election for consecutive office, except the president of a yearly club yearly club Ex uh, the club which have six month term he is entitled to run again for the office uh, for one year so the president is the only person who have restriction that he is entitled to run for only one term if it's one year if it's six months then he can run for another six months okay dtm mona um Yes, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, just uh, one thing I would like to, uh, to Muhammad uh, to clarify here, the, the committee that we are going to assign for the elections committee, uh, can uh, one of these uh, members uh, elect himself or nominate himself, sorry, for uh, the incoming uh, elections? Okay, thank you very much, Dithya Mona. This is also one of the uh, qu questions that I covered in the quiz. But again, it's good that uh, you highlighted. And this actually, uh, to my understanding, there was an update in this rule. There was an update in this rule. Official, uh, previously, uh, we've seen that uh, the members of the uh, election committee they are not entitled to run for the election or nominate themselves however now i've seen that the rule have changed and they are entitled to run for the uh, to nominate themselves for the office they are entitled to nominate themselves to the office and if you ask me from where i get this information it's from the uh, toastmaster website frequent question and answer uh, question uh, uh, of the election questions. You can check that in the website. Uh, DT and Mohammed, we have a question. Uh, Finish is asking: nomination community and club leadership community are the same or different? Uh, yes, they are the same. They are the same committee. Uh, it was an update uh, name in the club leadership handbook. I've seen it, uh, uh, but it is the same. It is the same committee doing the same job. DTM Khalid Jalal, please, you can ask your question. Thank you very much, our speaker. Just a question if you can clarify. We have few clubs who are low in membership, like below eight members. How will election happens for them? If they want to conduct elections, what are the procedures for them. They are not in good standing. A clubs which are not in good standing, how do you proceed with their election? Um, all, all of them, so everyone will be benefiting from this. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, I'm not very sure. Uh, how to answer this question. I'm not, uh, uh, 
if the quorum is not there or if the club is not in good standing, how they conduct the election, is it a valid election or not? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, so maybe I have to come back uh, with this answer, or if you have an information, you can share with us. Uh, maybe it was my BTM Muhammad. Uh, just a observation that I have when I was reading the rule book. There are actually minimum three positions that must be filled. It's not required that all the positions be filled. That is the president, VPE, and the secretary and treasurer can be combined. So yes. is that possible in that case? If the they don't have enough members, that could be the minimum? Uh, this is actually the minimum required uh, for officers to, to run a club. And if yes. you don't have uh, enough uh, numbers to, to uh, or you don't have enough people who are interested to run to the office, then yes. This is the minimum number of the office, and they have to be filled by three different individuals. They cannot be uh, the same person filling two or combined offices, no. They have to be three different individuals filling these three uh, offices. Um, but I'm not sure if it is addressing the same uh, uh, of DTM Khalid Jalal question or not, because I'm, I'm, I'm not very sure exactly that uh, I did get the point of uh, DTM Khalid Jalal. We'll come back to uh, DTM Khalid Jalal maybe later. Uh, DTM Jahangir, please, floor is yours. Yes, Brother Abdi, thank you so much so far. I really hope the, the question which I have is not there in the quiz because all the questions that we are having are there. Okay, my just question, something which I came across quite a few times is, is it necessary that the committee chair or the election has to be the immediate past president? Is it mandatory or is it necessary or it can be someone else? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, this is actually uh, written in the in the constitution of the club. Uh, by the way, make sure that uh, constitution is very resourceful document. It have lots and lots of details how to go through proceed and parliamentary procedure and uh, the uh, majority and rule and voting and the tie breaking. All this informations of parliamentary procedure are referred there. So just uh, make sure that you have a document uh, or you have a, a, a copy of the standard club bylaws. It will help you very much throughout your uh, parliamentary procedure uh, issues. Now to the uh, question, which was uh, mentioned by uh, DTM Jahangir, uh, is, is it mandatory that the head of nomination committee have to be the immediate past president of the club? Uh, the rule book and the constitution says yes, unless it is in the best interest of the club not to. So it is, uh, unless it is evaluated or assessed by the club president or the ex that uh, it is for the best interest of the club that uh, he should not take the uh, role or to be delegated to someone else, then uh, yes, but uh, the let's say, for example, he's not available immediate past president, or maybe he's uh, um, uh, busy or don't yes. he do not, yes. not uh, have enough contact with the members uh, or any other issues, any type of of uh, uh, better interest of the club that he can he it can they can delegate it to someone else to take up the assignment. But otherwise, he is the best uh, candidate for the for the assignment for the job, All right, uh, Mr. Anand Ananda? Yeah, please. Yes, yes. Uh, I wanted to ask a question, which I know our timer one is also going to be asking the same one. If the immediate past president would love to take up any role in the new committee, yes, he cannot be the head of the. This is what I understand. Secondly. Uh, I know the question of uh, area director Dinesh Kumar. In uh, his club, the immediate past uh, president is uh, no more. Uh, he is no more alive. So in that case, somebody has to be assigned as a um, chairperson who could have been from the club senior leaders who are not ready to take up the post. I think this is what is the situation. 
Uh, I hope uh, this will answer our friend Jahangir Khan's uh, query also. Over to you. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your additional clarification. And of course, it's always good to, to share and know uh, from uh, your experiences how things uh, goes in, in, uh, in the clubs. And actually, I would like to say that uh, we learn about all these uh, details by attending workshops, by having experience, by trying to find uh, the information uh, from uh, very uh, uh, diverse uh, resources that we have available. And one more thing that this information, maybe they get update. Uh, if we know it five or six years back, it doesn't mean that it's still the same. Maybe it's it have changed, it have updated. So it's always good to update ourselves. Uh, DTM Danish, please, floor is yours. Thank you very much, Distinguished Toastmasters Muhammad Abdi, and thank you, Anadatta Murli Manohar, Distinguished Toastmasters, to raising one question from my side. Already he realized what I am going to ask because that was the situation. He knows the my club past president is no more uh, with the in this planet. Second, my question: Do the candidate have to be present to be elected? In case of the uh, -huh. uh yeah thank you very very this is very interesting question very very interesting question and uh it is actually mentioned in the uh, frequent asked question of the ele club election so the answer for that is no he doesn't have to be present he is not does mandate that he have to be there but he have to be communicated clearly earlier that he accept the office once elected, once elected, he have to give uh, submit or uh, give uh, consent that he accept the assignment. You can check the Toastmaster uh, International website, frequent ask questions about the election. This question is mentioned there and the answer is there also. Uh, I think Anand, he have some points to add but let, before. Let's uh, maybe, it. maybe it is updated. Uh, even our international director is here. I think only for the club uh, contest, I mean, club uh, roles, elections, I was told that it is uh, lazim, yani it is required that uh, the candidate should be present on that year. No proxies allowed only for club uh, XCOM roles. Can you clarify once again, because uh, the one which you said is something different from my knowledge. Maybe I am outdated. I am from the 19th century. No, no, no. Uh, what you mentioned is clear, but it is it is correct and it's clear, but it's not applicable for the candidate himself. The voting does not allow proxies. So all the members who are voting, they have to be present. There is no proxy allowed in the uh, club election meeting. Uh, now, the candidate have to be there present or not. Uh, I can find the screen and share it with you. It is says in the uh, frequent ask question, the answer for this uh, question is that he doesn't have to be there. Doesn't mandate that he have to be there. But I do understand from where uh, this uh, uh, maybe understanding came because it's clearly mentioned that voting is not allowed by proxies for the club level election. Uh, yeah. So now let's. Sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, I have. I'm DTM Ram Kumar. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We'll have DTM first and then we'll come back to you, sir. If you don't mind. Thank you. DTM Mona, please. Uh, yes, uh, DTM Abdin, if you allow me to answer uh, the question of uh, our CGD, DTM uh, Khalid Jalal. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Uh, yeah, you can have add additional. Yeah. Yes. Yes, please. Um, uh, now, DTM Khalid Jalal, here is a question that uh, if an active club, uh, can they, are they allowed to do their elections, officer elections? Is it, uh, this is the question was? Yeah. Okay. Uh, for his uh, question, yes, they can do their elections and they can even upload uh, the new list in the website. 
uh, but they will not get the credit for the GCB point until they get uh, their club to be activated. Okay, so they need That's to build the uh, the. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, they, they can do their elections, they can do their elections, they can uh, also uh, submit their uh, new officer list in the website, uh, if, if this is the question. Yes. Yeah. All right, all right, understood. Thank you very much, DTM Wena, for your uh, information. DTM Ananda, yeah, please. I think you are not convinced with the answer, right? Maybe this hand was raised earlier. Maybe that's earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe DTM oh. Ram. Any other question? I cannot see anyone raising his hand. Yeah, DTM Ram. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, wonderful discussion, and uh, I do agree in this Jalal Khalid Jalal point of view because uh, most of the times we don't have uh, you know base members sufficient to run the elections in the club eight members we have what we do is in my experience during my term as a president and limited past president we always encouraged our club members even if we have eight members immediate past press president current president will come down to as a eighth position and all other move further one step that is one option we are given to the club ex comp members another option is whoever wants to step up we take the majority of the votes to be elected as a president. This is what we do in the club where we don't have a good standing members. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Um, thank you for sharing uh, with us your experience uh, in, in, in the club, how to handle such situation. But again, I would like to, to uh, um, refer back that uh, we should uh, try our level best to uh, be in line with the uh, Toastmaster International um, uh, proceeding for uh, uh, the election. Um, it's... Um, Okay, maybe some uh, condition will dictate us to take different measures, but everybody should be aware that what is the, the right proceeding, how to do the, the election properly, and uh, what is the requirement of the Toastmaster International. So we try to uh, be in line with all these requirements. But again, thank you very much for, for sharing such uh, experience and, and uh, knowledge from uh, your club level. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, any other person want to ask a question or some situation they've been through uh, when they were uh, running their election of the club? Maybe DT Muhammad can have the question toward the end because I see you are almost there on time, I think. All right, all right. Okay, I will go to a few of the uh, question quiz that uh, I would like to uh, question you about. Uh, okay, uh, let's uh, first quiz. Let's a question: Which clubs may have six-month election? Uh, clubs which are meeting weekly. Yeah, this is correct. The clubs which are meeting weekly and they decided or it's in their constitution, their terms is six months. So this is actually the right answer. Um, if you may allow me, I just need to know um, those who can answer the questions, just raise their hands or you pick um, or everyone can just open his um, microphone and speak. So just to know. No, uh, we are not distributing prizes. What do you prefer? Here. I would prefer to let everybody uh, to be comfortable and uh, contribute. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, that would As be- As you wish, okay. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, second quiz. Uh, can officer be re-elected for two terms? Yes, except the president. Yes, except for the president who are serving in a one year, one term, one year a club. So yes, except president of a club will run election annually. So this is the right answer. Who is 
the head of the club leadership committee, which is the same of the club nomination committee. Anyone would like to answer? IPP. Immediate past the president. Yeah, immediate past the president. But again, uh, as we said earlier, it, unless it's in the best interest of the club, not to uh, assign uh, the immediate past the president. Okay. So who's an officer? President. Anyone would like to answer? President, president of the club normally. Yes, he is the president of the club. He is the election officer. Okay. Can members of the club leadership committee nominate themselves to the officer position or officer position? Yes. No. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. This is what you have said that it is updated now. Yes. Yes, okay. yes. it was yes. updated. It was mentioned in the website, yes. In case of tie of voting result, what tie breaking method to be used? Revote. Revote. Revoting re re till we got the majority. All right, that's true. Club election voting do not take proxy, only members can vote. In case of tie voting to be repeated, other tie breaking uh, methods are not valid. So yeah, they have to what or until question, uh, sir. In this in this uh, uh, hypothesis, hypothetically, it rarely happens. But what if happens for the second time, the the same equal amount of votes comes? Can we go for time again revoting? In general, yes, because it is mentioned until one of the candidate you have to revote until one of the candidates have majority of the votes. Thank you. So it is like this, it is mentioned like this in the constitution and the uh, club leadership handbook. Okay, uh, I'm not sure do we have enough time to do, demonstrate uh, uh, an election to have a demo, election demo. All right, uh, before we move, Mona has raised her hand. So Mona, do you have a question or? Uh, uh... Yes, uh, actually I don't have a question, Ziti Mohammed, only a, a clarification also. For the, um, the president, if he want to uh, nominate himself again uh, for the next year, you said that uh, uh, maybe for the semi, uh, elections. Yes. Yeah, yes. and also if, if the club is chartered, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, the, uh, the the last quarter of the of the term. Let let us say from April or something like this. And he's the president, charter president. He can also elect, nominate himself for the next term because he taken only two to three months uh, uh, in this role. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. mean yeah, he did not serve. Uh, uh, he didn't point. serve. Yeah, yeah, he didn't serve even six months, even uh, for the. The, uh, the the presidents who already uh, elected for the if there's some issues yeah, I mean, if, if the president didn't, didn't uh, uh, renew let us say for on uh, in april and they will not keep the club without a president so they will uh, assign a, a person to be a president there and uh, then this president can also nominate himself for the next year I All hope right. it, I, it was clear because these questions are always coming to us uh, as uh, senior, uh, you know, those masters. Just we want to clarify here so that people can and also get the benefit. Back to you, Dita Muhammad. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Dita Mona. Thank you very much for uh, your contribution. Um, okay. Um, I'm just taking a look in the chat. Um, I think our MC can help me with this. Um, if there is any question coming from the chat, you can just uh, notify me. Otherwise, we will go to the uh, demo demonstration election again. There is no question yet. We can keep the questions till the end of the session. You can go ahead with the demo. All right, all right, okay. okay. 
Okay, now we will uh, just have a demonstration or, or uh, uh, like plot of how uh, to conduct the election as per the uh, uh, election proceeding mentioned in the uh, club leadership handbook. Um, so let's say, or let's assume that uh, we'll take Mona, Mona, uh, DTM Mona is a very good example. She always wants to uh, 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 nominate or contribute into the, um, the leadership of, uh, uh, okay. So the election nomination committee have assign her name or give her name for as a candidate for the uh, president office in the last meeting. And today is the election meeting. So me as an election officer, I have to ask her first. Amuna, do you accept uh, the being nominated for the club of the, for the office of the club president? Amuna, yes, do you yeah, okay. Okay, so now she accepts. Now I would like to ask anyone, or uh, let's say uh, uh, another candidate, not candidate, another member to give a second speech uh, uh, for stating why uh, Muna is qualified for this uh, candidate, for this candidate office. I will. Yes. Mr. Anand, I, 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 I propose the name of distinguished Toastmaster Mona as she has got vast experience and she can guide our club to a very good uh, term for the year 2022-23 and can guide us to be a, a president distinguished club. So I recommend our name to be the president. Over to you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, now we listen to the seconding speech. Uh, of course, step number three was already covered in step number two for the candidates who are coming or received candidates from the nomination committee report. So step number three and this situation is already covered in step number one. Okay, a step number four, which will be asking for other candidates to run from the floor. Anyone would like to run for the office of the president of the club from the floor? I, DTM Ram Kumar, would like to run from the floor uh, in nominating myself for the president for the term 2022-2023, sir. Okay, thank you very much, uh, DTM uh, Ram, for uh, running for the office. Now I'd like to uh, listen if there is any seconding speech for the candidate uh, Ram. DTM Ram, anyone would like to give a seconding speech? I can give a seconding speech, Mr. Election Officer. Yes, please, Mr. Farrell. No, election officer, I believe, and uh, to call, this is pro, member Toastmasters, I believe DTM Ram is a more ideal candidate for the role of the president as he brings in new ideas, and that is what we need at the moment that to understand. And I think with his ideas and enthusiasm showed as a member last year, he's more worthy. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, DTM uh, Ram, do you accept, this is step number three, do you accept the nomination as uh, for a club candidate, club president? Yes, I do accept to run the club as a president. Thank okay. you. Over to you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, the nomination committee will uh, accept a motion of uh, closing the floor for other candidates or closing the candidates for the president's office. This is a step no number five, okay? The step number five, uh, me as election officer, I cannot close the floor for other candidates. I cannot stop receiving candidates, but I can encourage the members that, okay, 
Uh, now we would like to stop. Anyone would like to raise a motion to close the uh, floor uh, or uh, receiving candidates from the floor? So now I'm asking you if anyone would like to raise a motion to close the floor, the, can, the uh, receiving candidates from the floor. Yeah, somebody have to raise a motion to close the uh, receiving candidates from the floor. I Toastmaster Dinesh Kumar Pal raise the motion to stop the accepting the nomination from the floor. Okay, thank you very much, Toastmaster Dinesh. Any would like to, anyone would like to second the motion of closing the candidate, the uh, receiving candidate from the floor? I am Toastmaster Yasser Gachar. Second the motion by uh, Toastmaster Dinesh to close the receiving the candidate for president. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, DTM Yasser al Gashar, for seconding the motion, and the motion is passed. Now, I'd like to request you all to cast ballots for the two candidates who are available with us for this evening DTM Mona and DTM uh, uh, Danish. Ram. Ram, Ram. Sorry, candidate, our candidate, DTM Ram. Please cast your ballots and uh, send it uh, on the chat privately or whatever. Okay, we will assume okay that uh, we, you casted your ballot. And now I would like now to uh, announce the winner of the president club, the, uh, the president elect of the club. And the winner is no, uh, candidate uh, ABC. Please give him a round of applause. Okay, and by this, we move on to the next officer, which is uh, the VP uh, education and then VP membership, and so and so on until we uh, finish all the seven, uh, uh, seven candidates of the club executive committee. All right, by this, I would like to conclude the workshop. I hope it was as clear as possible. Uh, I'm just uh, putting here a reference of the resources where I get this information from, including the questions which was uh, requested. Uh, you can find it in Club Leadership Handbook. Uh, this one, I have a screenshot from it, a Club Constitution. This also, it have lots of uh, useful information. Uh, election, frequent ask questions. This you will find uh, uh, so many of uh, information uh, in the website. So the, uh, it is there. And finally, the, uh, the governing uh, rule book, which is Robert Rule of Orders. This is actually the one which give you the uh, the common sense or, or the, the sense how to judge or how to take decision in area which is gray uh, that we are not clear of, you can refer to this book and the Toastmaster International also refer to this uh, Robert Rules of Orders uh, to get uh, uh, rules and uh, uh, make a procedure from that. Uh, by this, I would like to hand to conclude the um, uh, presentation workshop and hand the control back to our master of ceremony to tell if there's any questions to be answered from my side. Thank you and back to you, master of ceremony. Thank you, DT and Mohammed Yaqub for this precise workshop. And thank you for the demo session. Um, you were on time. Thank you very much for your hard work. Um, from my side, I didn't receive any question from members however uh, from however it's uh, the stage is yours you can ask any question if you have the mic is yours yes oh. master of ceremony i have a question to yes. Muhammad Abdin. just i want not a question it is a query i cannot read the question not reach to such level to read the question to dtm Muhammad Abdin, who are expert of the election process my query was that if can someone oppose the nomination of any um, nominated candidate? For example, uh, Gulam Farooq nominated himself as a president or someone nominated him 
and I don't want to uh, Gulam Farooq uh, elect. Uh, so, sorry, fight the election. Can I nominate? Mm -hmm. uh, can I oppose the name? Uh, yeah, you mean uh, you we are like a, a candidate, uh, for example, uh, put uh, someone's name, uh, or example, let's say I nominate uh, uh, Maryam for the uh, office of the president, and then there is a seconded seconded motion, and then it, it receive a seconded speech. Now, can anyone come in between and uh, revoke this uh, uh, motion? That's what you are saying. No, not like that. I say, suppose Gulam Farooq nominated himself or he had been nominated by other any members for yes. a, a position of the president. And I want to uh, oppose his uh, nomination. I want to raise the objection that he should not be the, uh, fight, uh, do the election. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, in this case, no. If it is a motion was put and candidate was put and it was seconded, then it will go for the voting until unless that it's have a, uh, uh, like, for example, let's say he's not a good uh, member and good standing. And uh, this is uh, well defined the criteria for this. And there is also another uh, type of members who are not entitled to run for the office, which are the uh, honorary membership. The honorary membership of the club, they are not entitled to run for the um, uh, office. So if he's not entitled, by default, he cannot run for the election. Even if his name was there, he's not entitled to take the, the, uh, the assignment or uh, the role. But if uh, he is good member in good standing and he is entitled to run for the election his name is uh, was uh, nominated and it was seconded then you cannot uh, oppose or put or uh, put restriction on his uh, um, um, candidacy thank All you right? Dr. Muhammad. let me elaborate my question again more yes before the before the seconding the motion to accept his candidation, mm -hmm. if the Gulam Farooq is a good standing member, paid member, and he not attending a single meeting, can I oppose on that base his candidature? Uh, no, there is no criteria as such. He is, is, if he's a good member and good standing, then he is entitled to run for the office. Thank you. And it will be decided by the... Uh, and, and the nature, what is good standing order? As long as the member's dues are clear and whether he or not is not attending, that's not the criteria. He is good standing because he is paid and he is eligible. And the, when we vote, members decide based on the majority of the votes, he'll be chosen and declared as a president or not to be selected as a president. Over to you. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and then Mr. Ananda, please. Yeah, I had the same doubt. Uh, you, there are some members who are just been being made as member, honorable members, and you said that they cannot vote. But I understand, presume, maybe my knowledge is very uh, poor, our PQD and CGD, and ID also knows that I'm very poor in this uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, you're listening properly, yes. My doubt is what uh, area director, uh, Dinesh Kumar said, and uh, uh, response given by DTM Ram Kumar, I was told that if a um, member is not been attending meeting for more than three meetings or so continuously, and he could be just be a member having paid, but I, I understand that he cannot be a uh, strong, I mean, Matlab, um, he is not a, a candidate with good standing. I mean, can someone clarify? I mean, you can clarify because uh, there could be somebody who comes like a like a Ramadan chand and uh, try to conquer for the next twelve months. Is that allowed? I mean, I'm just trying to clarify for my knowledge purposes. Over to you, distinguished Toastmaster, His Royal Highness Mohammed Abdin. 
Okay. Thank you very much for your very, very uh, interesting question. And actually, uh, if we go with reference to the rules and regulation club constitution uh, and uh, leadership handbook, uh, yes, this scenario is very possible. People, even if they are not attending their attend, that's not the criteria as uh, clearly mentioned or uh, early mentioned by our uh, colleague. Uh, the only criteria is he's a good member and good standing. And of course, I, I mentioned uh, for you that uh, there are other type of membership, which is honorary membership. He's not entitled of voting and he's not titled of running for the uh, office. He cannot take offices, uh, officer, officer assignment. Uh, so these uh, type of uh, members, they are not entitled to run for the office, but others, they are uh, full entitled and eligible to run for the uh, any office in the club. So this is the rules and uh, this is uh, how um, uh, we need to uh, address uh, these such issues. Uh, did you update? Would you allow me here? Yes, please. Yes, uh, just uh, to solve such things, uh, I believe that the club have the right also to have his own rule, internal rule. Uh, the, the things that we are um, uh, putting in the chartering uh, forms. When you charter a club, you have uh, also some uh, forms that you can uh, uh, put your uh, the internal rules. The club internal rules and this uh, charter uh, forms and by this uh, you can state that uh, a member uh, to be um, uh, or, or, uh, a member who are is going to nominate himself should at least uh, attend the meetings uh, and uh, regular meetings you know uh, something like I know that what they are trying to say because some members they are only on paper, they are just uh, paying their their fees, but they are not showing their faces in the meetings, and only in the elections they are here. So to to the benefit of the club, I believe yes, they, you can add these internal rules in your uh, um, internal uh, club con uh, uh, constitutions and uh, you can vote for this now if you have the club is already chartered you can state these rules and you can vote it uh, vote uh, on these rules and uh, sh the, you should get uh, the votes from all the members not only the exco back to you DTM Ahmed. thank you very much DTM Mona you touch on a very 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 complex uh, topic and issue I, I am personally I'm not uh, I didn't want to to uh, to uh, highlight this uh, issue because <laughs> I know I, I I got stuck in it several times and I'm not very sure that I'm competent with it enough or not but since it was uh, mentioned let me just uh, elaborate a little on on such uh, thing when you charter a new club, there is a, the standard club uh, constitution. This is uh, the document number two, which is mentioned here in the reference. And there is an addendum next to it uh, in the same format. So the club constitution itself, you are not entitled to change any such uh, wording or issue with it uh, by yourself. This is only entitled to be changed by the uh, international board of directors so the addendum which is attached to it it gives you some uh, chances to to uh, uh, highlight or put some rules regulation in certain areas it is a little fixed it's not open uh, all the way now there is also an area which is mentioned that uh, club have freedom to change some rules and rules and regulation as long as it's not uh, uh, conflicting with the Toastmaster bylaws and the club constitution. Now, this word is not very clear, and I'm not very sure how much freedom is allowed for the club to change or put uh, rules as per they wish. Uh, but at least the addendum has very clear uh, space where to put, how to put the rules in which areas that uh, need to be done. Uh, 
as I mentioned, this is very uh, complex uh, issue and I'm not sure that uh, I can describe or uh, talk about it in very uh, detail, detail way. I myself, I had some issue with it some, uh, some time back. So, but uh, thank you very much again, DTM Mona. You are mentioning proposal uh, solution that can be done if it can be done there or not. Uh, DTM Maria, uh, sorry, Master of Ceremony, Toastmaster Maryam, please. Yes, I have a question. Um, like, for example, if we are having the election and we have denominations and everything is cool, even during the day of the election, um, but I do have only one position um, of the officers' positions that no one nominate himself for. All the roles are like full with nomination nominators, but I have only one, for example, the president position or the vice president of education position. What to do in this case? All right. If I don't have anyone nominating himself. Okay. Uh, okay. This is uh, again, uh, there is no clear uh, detail mentioned solution for such a case. It mentioned uh, clearly that if you have vacancy uh, or if you have uh, someone who uh, withdrawn from the XCOM, then the next meeting, they have to be announced and uh, election need to take place to fill the uh, gap. Of this in case of uh, you have someone who have dropped. Now, if you don't have someone to start with, uh, it is the responsibility of the president to manage uh, the uh, the uh, issue and the club until he find a suitable candidate to fill the the uh, the uh, role. Uh, of course, some encouragement, uh, multiple way of communication, and all these things will take place and uh, negotiation uh, between the uh, president and XCOM to find a candidate to fill. But uh, if you cannot find, of course, as I mentioned, as mentioned earlier, you need three. Uh, assignment to be uh, filled by three different individual, which is uh, uh, president, uh, VP uh, education and secretary, they have to be filled. Uh, otherwise, it's not valid, but other position, they can be clapped with the uh, distribute the assignment between the XCOM members to manage until they get uh, someone to take the assignment. So basically, the president have to manage. All Thank right. You. Yes, Mr. Ananta, <laughs> please. I think we are running out of time. Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, uh, I am I am uh, motivated by Toastmaster Maryam. Yes. As we have said that uh, President, VP Education Membership, uh, PR, Secretary, Treasurer, and uh, Sergeant at Arms. And our question is, uh, which tempted me to ask this one, what if the first role itself is not taken? We don't go ahead with the rest of the election, isn't it? If the president is not taken, uh, thank you, Mariam, for uh, instigating my mind to ask this. My this pleasure. Is actually, <laughs> this is actually also a very. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I've seen that. Uh, I've seen in some clubs, and I'm not sure this is the right way to do it or not. That uh, uh, someone or the immediate past president or uh, the past president will continue as acting or custodian for for this uh, until they, they elect. But I'm not sure this is a way a right way to do it or not. But I know at least that three positions they have to be filled, otherwise the election is not valid. So yeah, if there is no one to run for the election from the whole. Uh, from the whole thing, then uh, you actually don't have a club. You don't have a club to, to run. So uh, yeah, I think uh, the right answer would be that uh, you have to fill these three offices and then you can proceed with the others. Otherwise, it's not a valid uh, uh, election. I would also like to state one information that uh, all the candidates who are selected, um, the previous term puts in the next year agenda and the term, which is the 10th point on the administration, that 
timing should be from July 1st to June 30th. However, anybody who quits that post and later on after the July, if they take it up, please note, they will not be from July 1st. Automatically that will be removed. It will be only from July 2nd. So technically I understand that they have not completed 12 months as a club officer as for the DTM requirement. Our PQD can clarify or someone else can clarify. This is my understanding. Actually, DTM Anzata, from my point of view, that I see that even if you join a little late, it is part of the rule book. Even if you join in the middle of the month, it's always the starting period is always the start of the month. I was about to say that. Yes, thank you, brother. Welcome. All right. Now, before the, the question become very difficult, I would like now to stop the workshop and, and <laughs> hand the control back to our uh, master of ceremony, uh, uh, Mariam. Thank you very much for uh, coping up and thank you for uh, being such energetic and wonderful uh, master of ceremony. I hand the control back to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Muhammad Abdin. It's my pleasure to be here with you. And thank you for this workshop. Thank you for all the participants who raised up their questions and the explanations and all the answers from you and from them. Thank you very much for this uh, truthful workshop. And for me personally, uh, I benefit from it. I benefit from it a lot. Um, so with this, I would like to um, of course, after thanking everyone and all the district leaders for arranging such workshops in order to improve us, um, I would like to handle back the meeting to our uh, district program quality director, DTM Khalid Abdullah. Uh, thank you very much for giving me this pleasure to be here and I handle the mic to you, DTM Khalid. Thank you, thank you so much, Toastmaster Maryam for your great role and energy throughout. That's my time to do the thanks. So let me first thank the presenter, uh, DTM Muhammad Abdin. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much as well for your knowledge, mashallah, and the, ex the depth of knowledge as well, just, not just the knowledge and, and your way of thinking and your way of answering the questions patiently. Thank you so much, uh, DTM Muhammad Abdin, for accepting to take this workshop. Please give him a round of applause. Thank you so much. Next to the person who was thanking me, but it's not really the case. I should be thanking you, Toastmaster Mariam, for taking the role of the Master of Ceremonies. I, was it, in, yes, it was intentional. I wanted to have the collaboration from the four countries in District 20. So that's why you can see presenter today from Bahrain, uh, Master of Ceremony from, uh, from Iraq. We have a timer who is from Kuwait. Tomorrow as well, we have another mixture from Egypt as well. So thank you so much for being here today, all the way from Iraq. And please, she deserves a round of applause for her energy and for the smile that was there throughout the workshop. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Marian. And a person who is practically not feeling well, and he said that I registered for the workshop and I'm attending, and to me, Okay, not as a PQD, as DTM Khaled Abdullah, I can tell that he is the best timer in the world. I might be exaggerating, but I can tell you his preciseness, his service is really eminent. So thank you so much, Toastmaster Dinesh, our Area 19 Director, for stepping here, although you are not feeling well, and taking the timing role, which again, you do it great whenever you take it. So. Thank you so much for the audience as well, for whoever came here today. I know that we had more and we're getting more dropping. So thank you so much for being here today. And that shows the difference that you are trying to make in the next term for District 20. Thank you so much for all of your energy. All right, some, some, some guests as well coming here just to say thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hi, Junior. Junior. I don't think he can hear you. Uh, DTM Khalid, can I, I mean, Khalid Abdullah, can I ask you a small question? 
Yes, you can, but can I just maybe adjourn the session yeah, yeah. and please, please, close please. the recording so everyone who, who wishes to leave. And I wish also to thank someone who doesn't like to be thanked. Would it be fine, Sister Sarah, to thank you? Because you don't like to be thanked. I already said it, right? She has been <laughs> the engine behind the scene for doing the flyers. Thank you so much, Master Sarah, for really helping us and throughout, and it's not only her, even Tosmasar Anas also was helping as well with the Arabic translation. So uh, apart from the district, of course, translator, thank you so much everyone for being here today and helping through this amazing workshop. And it's not really an official meeting, it's not adjournment, but I would ask for your permission to stop the recording and have whatever question that you wish to have. <laughs>